Oh, hello everyone. And welcome to another edition of Midweek Minutes. This past Sunday, we continued our series, Skills, with part four, Live Life. And our main passage was Ephesians chapter five, verses 15 to 17. And the Apostle Paul was talking to the Ephesian believers, and he told them, starting in verse 15, be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what God wants you to do. Live life. Essentially, the Apostle Paul is telling the Ephesians to live like they are alive. Live like Christ. Live like Jesus. We have a new life where we put our faith, our hope, and our trust in the Lord, and we've been given His Spirit, which is not a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. Now, if you're in South Florida or Florida in general, you're preparing for milk. Milk's coming along trying to blow us away with its power and all of its force. And yes, as South Florida's Floridians and as Florida um, residents in general, we prepare for a hurricane. We make sure we have all the essentials that we safe and do all the things necessary <laughs> to keep us um, in a good spot. But there are times when people go overboard, when they're fearful, when they act as if the world is coming to an end or if they have no one to turn to in the midst of their storm. And Although we want to be safe and precautious and do all the necessary things we need to do, we want to make sure that we don't act as if we're foolish, not trusting in God, not believing that He is still in control. Now, on the other end, we don't want to just be callous and act as if nothing's going on and, and don't take the proper precautions, like having a hurricane party. Can you believe people actually do that? They have hurricane parties, go out into the storm and and do all sorts of unsafe things. So I'm not saying either extreme, but we want to be like Jesus. You know, we had a point on Sunday that said, careful living is acting on the wisdom to imitate Jesus. You know, we want to imitate Jesus. We want to have peace in the midst of the storm. Though the storms of life are raging all around us, we can be still and know that he is God. So I encourage you, live like Jesus. Even as milk is approaching, let's not get hysterical, let's get historical and remember all the times the Lord has seen us through. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Midweek Minutes. I hope to see you again next week. Goodbye for now. Be safe, everybody.